Hello everyone, welcome again to East Coast DNA for a special On the Road episode as we travel to Cavendish PEI for the first annual SOMO Festival. I'm your host, Darcy Walsh, and this is our special co-host, Dakota Walsh. We were able to catch an appearance by Andrew Waite at the Sandbar stage, opening off the events for the day, and followed by that on the main stage, we had Sky Wallace. <laughs> Welcome to East Coast DNA. We're backstage at the <laughs> SOMO Festival. So we've got some podcast friends here that uh, our regular viewers should be familiar with. So Gina and Devin, welcome. And hey, thanks hey. for giving me hello, some time. Hello, hello. Glad to be here. Thanks for having us. So I get to see you guys uh, open the day pretty much there with uh, Sky Wallace. So that was an exciting set. And yes. Dakota, you pop over and screen here for a second. <laughs> I, what I brought up? the infamous Dakota co-host with us, so she got to see a good big stage performance from you guys as well. Yeah. But you also brought a little gift with you. Maybe Gina will just get you to hold it up there. We so did. The, the new EP. It's how, here. How are you guys doing? You've been playing off of that, like in the Toronto area probably, I Yeah. Imagine. Well, we actually played a show last night in Cellarton. Yes. Uh, and we've got one tomorrow in Halifax. Perfect. And then we'll be back for Giant Stock. Yes, we're uh, very excited for Giant Stock. Absolutely. And then we've also got a show in Toronto, uh, August 16th as well. So Perfect. Yeah, so with our friends Shred Kelly, who are amazing. Awesome. Yeah. And you're doing more dates with Sky as well, I imagine, over the summer? Uh, we've got a pretty busy summer with Altered. So awesome. Yeah, so looking forward to that. It's great. We play with Sky when we can. Love her to death. Uh, but yeah, focusing in a little bit. Just like got to rock some guitar. It's been a common theme with a lot of people that I've been interviewing lately that we all have the nice problem of too many options for shows and too many artists with new material, too many concerts to go to, too many festivals to go to. It's a 100% different world than when we started doing this because it was about the re-emergence after everything yeah. being shut down. So excited to see that you guys are having success, excited to see you up on a big stage. Excited that you're going to be back in Pictor County for Giants Talk. That's going to be do a it. perfect way to end the summer. And who are you guys excited to see this afternoon? I'm not going to make you say your favorite artist on the whole lineup because I know that you've got a lot of Maggie friends. Maggie Rogers, Maggie Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> well, you probably played for your favorite because Sky was already on and you're in That's the band. It. Of course. Yeah, I love Sky. I'm a big uh, Crownlands fan. It's hard to, uh, you know, I wish they would turn up a little bit. I'm not sure they're loud enough for me, but no, they're so loud. I love it. Uh, Crownlands is amazing. I was stoked to see Joel Plaskett. He's just like been an idol for so long. So I, I do want to see Grandson because I have heard so much about him. Yeah. I saw that sign that he has, like that road sign backstage. I'm like, okay, yeah, let's see what's up with this road sign. And a giant merch tent. I don't know if you guys had time to hit that up yet. but Does he have his own? Like his own There's tent? a giant merch tent with stuff from every one of the artists on the bill. So right, it's, yeah. it's like a whole... 
It's like a little music store for all the music geeks to go up and geek That's out awesome. and buy your favorite merchandise from your favorite bands. But or you just get it. I for could free. live there. Yes, <laughs> even better deal. I, I'm living it up here. I'm in geek heaven <laughs> as far as a music fan. So <laughs> loving the weekend. Glad to get to see you guys. Same. And I think, as you mentioned, Crown Lands, they're coming up here in just a moment. So. I don't want to keep you guys too long. Awesome. I think I'm going to pack up some of this gear, and I'll probably join you over there to catch some Amazing. of that performance. Thanks, Darcy. All right, thanks, thanks a lot, everyone. And where can people buy the album themselves yeah, so they can absolutely. listen to Altered by Mom? It's out June 30th, so you can get it on Bandcamp, and you can stream it everywhere. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. All right, Yo. see you guys.
Friends, and we're at Soma Fest. Uh, we're listening to uh, East Coast DNA podcast. Having a great time out here. found this message on the uh, communal chalkboard. Everyone was running up and putting messages on, and it couldn't be more truer. The fear of missing out is uh, definitely something you don't suffer from at the SOMO Festival. There's so many things to do. You're constantly occupied. The vendor village was great. The food areas had plenty of alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks. There's lots of music everywhere, pop-up stages over by the bell stage, as you can see on the screen. And Dakota had a wonderful time dancing about and taking in the sights and scenes, her first big full music festival. Dakota, uh, what was your most memorable part of the day? I think my most memorable part was when Mono Wales was playing. <laughs>
whole secret for the rest of our lives what happened in there. I get lost when I'm on my way. The story began with a different day. Pardon? Watching all the violence on my
will notice in some of our crowd shots, appearances of East Coast musicians familiar to the podcast. Uh, Moira and Claire, we actually seem to make them separate as we walk through. You'll see that they uh, divide across the screen in one of our clips. And uh, Bruce Gillis of the Town Heroes is also up front on the main stage watching uh, one of the performances we were able to capture. One of the performances that I was really looking forward to was Death From Above, 1979. Listened to them for quite some time and was excited to see them down here on the East Coast. I uh, was full festival mode at the time down in the pit, as you can tell by uh, the end of our clip, where it kind of cuts off as the pit took hold of the podcast and I put the camera away. I uh, was able to uh, catch up with Justin Benlolo in the crowd. Uh, he was on site to catch the band as well. And for anyone that wants to know a little bit more about Justin and his band Broken Love, we have a little clip here. And an interview separate for this episode is now available on all streaming services under the East Coast DNA podcast. Broken Love was also one of my favorites, and I'm excited to see them in the future. And I also was really excited to see Grandson. It was a really good performance. I think Grandson was one that uh, we were probably equally enjoying in the the nice afternoon weather that we had. It was a very busy weekend. We weren't able to catch up with all the artists that we would like to have, but we definitely... uh, We'll be following up with some in the future. Dance Joy was certainly one of the crowd favorites. Also, uh, with the headliners, uh, Big Pull was Maggie Rogers and Mumford and Sons. Interestingly enough, uh, Mumford and Sons had a little bit of a issue with their personnel getting uh, to the festival. A uh, member had a little bit of a spill and had to stop at hospital, if we're to uh, believe what was said on stage. Ended up resulting in approximately 20 to 30 minutes of a solo set for Mumford & Sons. But the audience was not disappointed as they were treated with a Taylor Swift cover performed by the frontman and special guest Maggie Rogers for a little double night bonus Maggie Rogers for the Maggie Rogers fans out there. Uh, Dakota and I had a wonderful time. The culinary stage was an interesting addition for the music festival. I'm definitely looking forward to uh, seeing some more outside-the-box thinking with music festivals in the future. And the culinary stage really did seem to prove to be a good fit. It was always full of people, packed house, celebrity guests on stage cooking. Uh, Vance Joy was up there himself at one point. And Dakota and I had a full four-day adventure in PEI, so it was nice to get out to another province with or without the podcast. And in the future, the podcast uh, plans on visiting a few more festivals, hopefully get a few more new interviews. And Dakota, how do you feel about returning to the co-hosting duties on some of these summer adventures? I would love to. You heard it here, folks. Look forward to hearing Dakota back on the mic with us as we finish off summer 2023 and get ready for... A very promising fall of 2023 as the East Coast music scene is wide open and full-blown again. We're both excited to see where things are going in the future. Thanks everyone for checking out our content. And while you're here, be sure to subscribe.